Hi guys, Stuart here from Airshow World. Okay, so this is uh, tutorial number three for creating your own virtual radar server. Um, at the end of tutorial number two, uh, I started talking about um, using putty. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now to be able to um, talk to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so I've just, um, from my bar down there, I've just launched putty. I'm going to do I'm going to type in um, P I and then put an at and then I'm going to put in the uh, IP address of the Raspberry Pi so here we go 92.168.0.4 okay um, you might want to Google um, ways to be able to find your IP address there's lots of different ways of doing it um, if you use, um, most people would be using a router. So what I would suggest is that um, you type in your make a router and simple as say, how do I find connected devices? Okay. Don't alter that. Click on open. Okay, that's now connected to the um, Raspberry Pi. Um, it's asking for the password, so I'm going to type that. Okay, that's accepted my password. Um, to find out what, there's a default, when you install, um, like we did in step two, the actual software for your um, FlightAware, the um, default password is um, as simple as FlightAware. In this next screen that I'm going to bring up, um, we're going to take you to the configuration um, section and you can make all those different changes that you need in there and that's the command prompt that you need okay that command prompt um, I'll I will put that into the description um, of this particular video okay so I'm going to go copy that little green box there I'm going to right click with the mouse just there Okay, I'm going to hit the enter key, and that's taken us into the um, configuration screen. I'm going down with the um, down arrow key from the uh, laptop. Okay, here. What do we have here? Okay, so on my system, I'm using um, wired. Okay, in other words, an RJ45 cable plugged into the back of the Raspberry Pi. You can use um, with the actual Raspberry Pi that I suggested you use on, that was on tutorial number one. Uh, you can use wireless if, um, if you want to. Okay, if you want to put your um, Raspberry Pi in a remote location. Okay, um, here, anywhere that um, doesn't have these means when you have one of those um, when the actual um, Raspberry Pi launches it ignores any of this text so it only um, uses what doesn't have those okay so in this case it says wired type and um, space DHCP if I wanted to assign a static IP I would put my static IP in just here and I would change that from DHCP to static if you scroll further down you'll see other configuration settings um, for example uh, setting up your um, wireless as well okay um, if you do make any changes Shortcut keys to remember are control O. Okay, and that brings that little box here. And it's saying, okay, so you want to save this, where do you want to save it to? And that's the location. And um, to save that, it is. There we go. Just hit the enter key that saved it and then to escape you do control x 
Control X takes you back to where you were before. Okay, right, that's as far as I'm going to go in this particular tutorial. Um, tutorial number four, I will show you how to set up um, the actual virtual radar server, which is this little program here, which was the first download that I suggested you um, download. Okay, so um, don't forget to um, subscribe to Airshow World. You'll find about 400 different um, aircraft videos on there. Plus all of these new tutorials that we are uh, putting out now. Um, the tutorials for the um, virtual radar server are all in um, one playlist. Okay, so um, please subscribe. You can choose and get notifications. And then as soon as we put the new video out, you'll um, be the first to know. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in number four.